Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautifully super hydrating hyaluronic acid gel with sodium PCA. Now before we get started, I do just want to clarify that the actual form of material we use in our formulas is sodium hyaluronate, but you will see a lot of marketing claims directed at hyaluronic acid which is why I've used that name in the title so that you can see this is a formula using the sodium hyaluronate that you see marketed in so many of those hydrating products. And the results are amazing. The product itself feels like pure silk and leaves the skin beautifully plump and hydrated all day. So let me show you how it's made. This is the product we're gonna be making here. As you can see, it's set into a beautiful gel form and it applies absolutely silky smooth, no tackiness, no stickiness, and beautifully stable. Now I am using a high molecular weight sodium hyaluronate in here, and that provides a beautiful moisture protective barrier to my skin, while it also contains sodium PCA and gluconolactone for extra moisturizing benefits. So I'm going to start, here is my water and my hydrosol. I'm using a hydrosol so it's got a nice gentle aroma. And to this I'm going to add my aquoxal. This has extra hydrating benefits as well. With the sodium PCA. And I'm also adding some pomegranate extract. You could add another extract in glycerin if you would prefer. I'm just gonna give that a little stir. And then I'm going to add my sodium hyaluronate. Now I'm gonna add this in stages and stir it through. You'll see it doesn't hydrate straight away, but it definitely does hydrate to become this beautiful clear gel, given just a little bit of time. Now normally if you are using a natural gum and your formula look like this, I'd say you've got some real problems. But with the sodium hyaluronate powder, this is quite normal. If you have a propeller mixer, you could add it slowly while the propeller is mixing and you'd have less of this to begin with. But the outcome will be the same. It won't remain as clumps or fish eyes like a natural gum would. So don't panic if it looks like this. Just keep mixing and you can leave it overnight. Now I'm just going to add my preservative. I'm using GeoGuard Ultra. Now this contains gluconolactone for added moisturizing benefits. But when you use gluconolactone, you must be aware it will pull the pH of your formula down. So you need to buffer it, and I'm buffering it with some sodium citrate. And this just helps hold the pH relatively stable and consistent, not only so that the preservative works really well over a prolonged shelf life, but also keeps the product really stable as well. Now you don't need to heat the GeoGuard Ultra. It will tolerate heat, but I'm not using heat in this formula. You just need to stir it and it will dissolve. You can leave it like that, cover it, come back after a few hours, give it another stir then you could come back later, give it a final stir, leave it overnight, and by the next day, it will be a beautifully clear gel, just like this one. Well, as you can see, that formula is absolutely hydration packed. It's got the sodium hyaluronate, the sodium PCA, I've got some pomegranate extract, and I've got some gluconolactone, and the aquoxal as well. As mentioned, when you apply it, it's got a beautiful silky feeling, absolutely no tackiness, so you can just enjoy the hydration straight away. And of course, with the high molecular weight sodium hyaluronate, it's got extra moisture protective benefits. The sodium PCA and gluconolactone and aquoxal all work within the skin to bring extra moisture, so you've got a long lasting hydration burst. Please contact us for the free formula, we're happy to share it with you. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please have any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.